hope you enjoyed yesterday's video at Andrew Ward's. Anyway, don't forget to check him out. It's properly snowing here today. Dave's here, we're going to do some chipping. Hopefully the chipper behaves itself. There was a valve gone that was leaking the other day, so we've changed that now. That should be fine. Hopefully it's not going to be losing oil and we can get some of the pile gone. Probably not a bad job today to be sat in the digger with the heated seat on. Look how much snow's on me. I've only walked 100 yards, 50 yards. Uh, I think we'll be doing indoor jobs today in the workshop or in the grain stores. That's uh, pretty heavy and it's blowing down my neck. Not very good weather for anyone that's lambing at the moment. Because the sheep, well, it's not very good for the lambs, but the sheep actually won't want to lamb if it's too cold. So it's a long waiting game then. It's 9.30 and so far so good with the chipper. It's, uh, it's working well, despite the snow. That's a bit of a wasp nest going in it now. So we're going to get hold of it. Let's see. Stopping and starting just to lead it through. When the engine revs drop, it automatically cuts the drive to it, to the, to the feed rollers, so that it doesn't pull the engine revs down too much. Quite chewy stuff. Rob's not happy, can you tell? <laughs> um, there's a bolt snapped in the chipper, not that one, but that one. And then it meant that that motor and gearbox was flew round because that's what holds it in place. That peg goes in that square hole. It's come round and it snapped all these pipes, knocked it off and knocked that sensor off. Magic eye. That, that reads off this pulley to tell you the speed of the rear the rollers. So we're gonna have to get a new one of them, sort these pipe work out they might be damaged because they've come round through this gap and got munched. We've got maybe four pipes to do. We've got a fitting snapped off this other one, other motor up there. It's just a bit of messing about to do and it's cold and wet. So we'll go in the pub. <laughs> <laughs> the weather is awful, getting everyone down. James is here now making some pipes for the chipper. Anyway, I've just gonna go everyone at McDonald's to cheer them up because we're all fed up. Another one you can hear. But because it's obviously wet, we've got some shed progress. So this floor is going down now. What are they for? Of course. I thought you put your shelves up already. Yeah, Sam to we took the nets down as well. It's gonna be big up here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Good house Just just it's got a car park behind it, a Weybridge one side, a wood chipper blowing dust at you. The plan was this was going to end here, but then that means that we've got to kind of put a wall in there. And then downstairs was going to be like racking. But because we'd have to have room to get the mini Merlot in to get onto the racking, what we'd lose by the dead space in the middle for the forklift or the Merlot or whatever means that we may as well just go all the way across. And then it's just single story. And then we could have a smaller door and the money we'll save from the smaller door pays for the extra wood. And then we'll just have single level racking down there for storing parts and the likes so then this will carry on so we'll have a there's going to be two offices in that corner there obviously cut windows in and then that we'll see out onto the yard the new gateways behind there uh, where the white pipes are that's the other floor heating obviously for for that corner office and then this will be like a storage or boardroom meeting room classroom anything that we need to use it for really yeah. visits this is today's birthday bumper so we've got luke mcdonald is six david gary richard white 
Lee Davis is 51 and Becky Waring is 40. 27,886 pound, brilliant. So every day, if it's your birthday and you go on the Just Giving page and leave a donation to the Northwest Air Ambulance, I put you on the birthday bumper. What always amazes me is so there's five people's birthday today, but some days we get like 12 or 15. Is the, the sort of like the birth and day rate range, it just really varies. I think one day we were down to two and then another day we had 16. It's just nuts what sort of days people are born of the week or month, year, whichever. Just, I'd love to see a graph. If the, is there a peak? day of someone being born don't know let me know in the comments if you think there actually is you know are, are more people born on a wednesday or more people but it's a thursday today or, or more people born born on a saturday i don't know saying that the days of the week change on the years as well so maybe more people are born on certain dates i don't know just seems odd i never thought there'd be such a fluctuation i thought there'd be quite a steady flow so bounds has sent this valtra on monday i was in yorkshire in the afternoon then I was at Andrew Ward's on Tuesday, then I was in an NFU meeting yesterday, I didn't get back till after dark. So I have actually not driven it yet. So the lads have been draining in it, so here's a little bit of that. Some of them videos were taken um, for Farm Machinery magazine, is it? I think as well. So you'll see it in that. But anyway, I'm going to go and take it around the block now and see what it's like. I'm in this now. I'm just about to go down the road, and I thought, oh, Andrew's left some sweets, so I just put my hand in, and they're not the dog treats. So Rob must have been driving it last, and I nearly put it in my mouth because I went. It feels a bit grainy that. Yeah, so just watch before you eat. I was on the phone as well at the same time, so probably that was why. Anyway, hung up the phone, gonna go down the road. Rob's gonna now hold the camera, so I apologize for the poor filming. Whoa, Rob, what are you doing? Get off. <laughs> Nothing wrong with my filming. Clear my own. Will it go? It's in top gear now. Yeah, yeah. Beat me. Picks up fish faster. Oh yeah, it tows well. Loads of power. is the steering wheel too small the air pipes are pl uh, plumbed in way too high sound if you're the jolly green giant there's a car behind me but it's these lights can you see them lights on the side markers and it's in the mirror just flick it around and show the mirror that's the side marker and now i'm indicating the way to be my brigade Yeah, we were thinking that the bonnet looks really long, but it's because it's so narrow. If it was like a bit wider, it'd look short, but because it's kind of like swept in at the corners, it looks long. But yeah, it's smooth on the road. So this is what Rob's saying about the air pipes. They're like right up there, and they're always kind of awkward to put in. So you kind of stood on your tiptoes on the drawbar, and then also the wire lighting cables down there. But I suppose everything's quite high, isn't it? So they all are bunched, but might be better a bit lower sort of here the air pipes at least yeah even if they left them there but just pointing them downhill so you can get them in a bit easier than being vertical horizontal that might help a little bit of feedback there if you're watching 
the lighting plugs always used to be on the back of the cab on Valtras, and if you ever had a dodgy trailer and it wasn't working properly, you could reach out the back window and wobble the plug, which helped. But you can't really do that now because it's kind of like, although it's high, it's not reachable from the cab. Chipper update, that's on. The case drain's on. We need um, a new sensor for that. Well, well yeah, magic eye. Um, we've got new pipes for the motor. Um, yeah, there's the magic eye that's broken. Got the end chopped off it. So it's literally motor back on, gear oil in there. Yeah, and then that's cracked, so we're going to make something to fit around it. No, what we'll do is, instead of going off that, I'll make a bracket to go off. Oh, off the motor belt. Off the mot motor bolt, so if you see it, it. Yeah, it's the same as that, you see, see. So instead, we'll have a bracket, and then we'll, have, we'll put another bolt through, but then we'll make a bracket to go off that. Yeah, because the gearbox is cast and we can't weld it. That's obviously the well, gearbox. We can, but we... That looks like it's been a new one, because it's got a part number on that one. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to price one of them because I knew it'd be expensive. Yeah, and then we'll jet wash it, we'll clean it. The joys of wood chippers. If anyone says why don't you get a new one, I'll tell you why. The four hundred and odd thousand pound. So get subscribed. Yeah. <laughs> don't forget to click like. Yeah, if we sold maybe um, two hundred thousand hoodies, we might be able to buy one. So go and buy your hoodie and tell one hundred and ninety nine point nine thousand of your mates to buy one. Actually, if you get hoodies, it's hot weather. I've put mine down somewhere, and that's why I've got my hood up, because I'm cold. Um, that is about it for today. I've got a few meeting on Zoom tonight, so I'm uh, going to go in early, edit this video that you just watched. That's why you've had an early video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Sorry, quickly, one last thing. Um, it's been cold, wet, and miserable today. It's been getting everyone down. How are you feeling today? We're all in about 70%, because especially with the chipper breaking. So let me know. That's what answer as a percent means in the titles. Let us know how you're feeling as a percentage. And don't forget as well, if you've got a calendar, you can also put the percentages on that. So everyone, have a go. How are you feeling today as a percentage?